Hey guys, and today we'll be making pom-pom hedgehogs. You will need the hedgehog templates from the description box below printed onto A4 card, a piece of scrap cardboard, some wool, some googly eyes, a black marker pen, some scissors, and some print stick. There is very little prep for this lesson. All you need to do is print off the templates in the description box below onto coloured card and then either cut the page in half so you've got just one hedgehog on each piece of paper or use a guillotine which I didn't have at home. And the other bit of prep is to give each child a piece of cardboard about the size of your hand and cut a rectangle out of it about halfway across the piece of cardboard you'll be able to see from what I'm doing in the picture. This doesn't need to be precise as long as your slit goes about halfway along the piece of cardboard and is about a centimetre wide. So for the actual lesson with the children, let them choose what colour they want their hedgehog to be and cut around the hedgehog template on the card. It's important to be as accurate as possible because the feet are quite fiddly so they might need some help with this. When you've cut the whole body out, there are two little lines on either side of the body, about a centimetre long. You want to just snip those. On the head part of the paper, there are two straight lines which are both dotted and you need to fold down these lines. Make sure that they're a good strong fold because this is going to fold over to create the head of the hedgehog. On the smaller fold, you're going to want to apply a vigorous amount of glue. <laughs> if not, your head will come unstuck and this happened to me several times. So lots and lots of glue. And fold the other part of the head over so that it creates a cone shape. Now we're going to get your scrap piece of paper that we're going to call the pom-pom maker because this is where we're going to make our pom-poms. I do usually use a traditional round style one where you put the wool through the middle and then you have to cut around the edge to get the cardboard free. Uh, but I've actually found these work much better, they're quicker and they're also easier for children to use. Just one tip though, make sure your cardboard is quite strong. Mine was weak and it gave way on me. Start wrapping your chosen wool around your pom-pom maker. If you look where I've placed it on here, I've placed it about a centimetre away from the middle of that cardboard. So it's got a little gap so you can thread your extra piece of wool through at the end. Just keep wrapping your wool around until you think that you have enough. Uh, you'll see how much I use and I think that's about the right amount. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Obviously less wool means less fluffy pom-pom, more wool means bigger poofy pom-pom. I do apologise for my voice, I am just recovering from a horrible cold and the other day I did not feel like filming my voice, it was horrendous. When you finish wrapping your wool, just snip off the end and then you need to cut another piece of wool about 30 centimetres long. Now thread this foot long piece of wool through the hole that I was trying to keep at the beginning and then wrap it around the back of your thick water wall and then hopefully you'll still have a gap on yours where yours hasn't collapsed but I had to try and weave mine back through and then you should be able to tie a knot around the front to secure your wall in place. Make sure that your knot is nice and tight and I double knotted it to hold it in place. With the excess wool this time, do not cut it. 
because you're going to need this to tie it onto the uh, paper base of the hedgehog. Once your wall is tied nice and tight in the middle, you can go ahead and slide the wall off your pom-pom maker. This is quite tricky if the wall is really tight, so please help the children if they need the help. Then get your scissors and start cutting the top of each loop. It's much easier doing it off the cardboard, it's too taut on the cardboard and makes it difficult for the children, so this is the easier option. Find your two long pieces of wool and make sure you don't cut these in the process of cutting the loops actually but you need to find these two long pieces of wool and you're going to slide them into the two little slots that you made on the base of the hedgehog. Pull them nice and tight, be careful not to rip the carb though and then flip the hedgehog over and secure at the base again with a double knot. Cut off any excess. Uh, I keep wanting to put string. <laughs> Cut off any excess wool with the scissors. If you want to, you can give your hedgehog a little bit of a haircut, uh, just to make sure no one goes scissor happy. You can try and sort his hair so it stays at one level and zhuzh it up a bit. Now we can give him a face, we can get some googly eyes, stick them on with some Pritt stick. Unless you have the ones where you just peel off the back and stick those on, much easier. I much prefer those but I didn't have those. And then you can give him or her some eyelashes if you wish with a black mark pen and then a little nose on the end. I hope you enjoyed this awesome autumn colourful craft. Try saying that, that was quite hard. I'll see you next week for more Art with Miss Burford.